Okay, so this is the first time that we are here. Um, we have been participating in multiple events, not only in London. So we are a company that has a global footprint. So I just, I've been at Web Summit last week and my colleagues are right now in Singapore on Singapore FitTech Festival. Uh, so we constantly look at new opportunities and new events to participate and, and FinTech Talents looks very exciting and it might be the best event of this year. So we are focusing on two new additions to our portfolio. One is an AI engine that we call Maniga Correlator that is looking at spending of individual customers and is trying to find correlations and predict future, not only in terms of propensity to buy products, but also just trying to find actions and things that the customers might need in the future. And this is something that we have already launched with the first banking customer and it has been fairly successful. Uh, and the second thing, even more important, is we are trying to look at social responsibility of banks and we will be talking about carbon footprint. So one of the things that we have recently launched in Sweden in September is a carbon footprint insights. So we are able to basically tell the customers of bank what is their carbon footprint based on the spending. So we're looking at amounts, transaction category and merchants and we are trying to tell people how they're doing. And then we are offering the next, be next best action, which is in this case is moving money to UN's uh, climate initiative, uh, which uh, we actually started doing with our own B2C platform in Sweden. We did manage to offset hundreds of CO2, uh, tons of CO2 already. And this is one of the things that we are trying to, um, to focus on. Uh, it's an addition to finance management. It's an addition to all the things that we have in our portfolio to help banks build engagement. But we believe that this one is important and also very interesting for the customers. Yes, so we, uh, we have uh, recently opened an office in Singapore and we believe that Southeast Asia is the next booming market for what we do. Uh, we are also engaged with a lot of conversations in Australia because Australia is following EU uh, on the path to uh, introducing open banking. And in Europe, we, uh, it has never been this busy. So the open banking is forcing not only banks, but also everyone else that has relations with retail customers at scale to think of building that relation, extending that relation to finance management. So we have plenty of conversations with telecoms, insurers and uh, retailers that are interested in offering some sort of finance management capabilities to their customers. And we believe that both Correlator and Carbon Footprint play very well to this need. So um, depending on, on which angle you're taking, so the first thing that I expect and I hope for is the uh, open banking interfaces in Europe to stabilize and actually enable uh, those that want to benefit from this to provide quality services because we are not quite there yet. Uh, I also believe that there will be new models emerging for what to do with data, how to work with payments initiation and how to engage with customers for non-banks. And, uh, and the banks will continue uh, to just uh, operate under pressure from challenges and, and newcomers. Uh, so I expect that the next 12 months are going to be even more interesting than what we have seen so far. From our perspective, the thing that has been always a big challenge for big banks is to think in terms of customer experience and think about the user and the convenience. So it is easy to think of massive portfolios and offering multiple products but then it gets complex when you're trying to have a simple yet engaging conversation with the client. So what challenges are bringing to the table is they are forcing big banks to do better when it comes to just user experience and, and, and the things that customers engage with on an everyday basis. So that should be the priority number one for the big banks if they want to compete with, the, with challenges. If they want to compete because they might think of themselves as more of a product provider. So I expect that over the next 12 to 18 months we will see an increasing wave of banks offering white labeled products. So the competitive landscape probably is going to get a little blurry, blurry because you have challenges that will be probably offering some products that are underwritten by major banks and you have major banks just going into all kinds of partnerships and trying to figure out the way forward. But if we are framing the, framing the conversation as established banks versus challengers, then the big banks need to look at user experience first and that should be the primary focus for them.